Welcome to our lecture Work Permit in Canada. Getting a Work Permit. Introduction. In this section, we will explore several topics regarding Work Permit in Canada. First, we will learn what is a Work Permit, the types of Work Permit in Canada, what is the LMIA, the importance of a job offer, how to check if your Canadian employer is eligible to sponsor you, special situations regarding work permits, and finally, how to avoid scams. The definition of work in the Canadian immigration system. Work is defined as an activity for which Remuneration is earned or as an activity that competes directly with activities of Canadian citizens or permanent residents in the Canadian labor market. Anything related to that, any activity that competes with Canadian or permanent residents in, in which you get some benefit or remuneration is considered to be work under the definition. Basic facts about work permit. In most cases, you will need to receive a job offer from a Canadian employer in order to apply for a work permit. Work permits are temporary in nature, but often can be extended in Canada. Most of the time, you have a choice to extend your work permit as far as the employer wants to continue employment with you, and they can offer a job offer or extend an LMIA. We'll see more details during the course. Normally, a work permit should be supported by a positive labor market impact assessment LMIA letter issued by Employment and Social Development Canada (ESDC). In some cases, Canadian immigration regulations allow for open work permits, which are non-employer specific. And for this open work permit, there are special situations that are allowed, and we'll learn about it in this course. Another facts about work permits. Each year, more than 300,000 foreign workers come to Canada on a temporary work permit. Depending upon the foreign worker's country of citizenship, a temporary resident visa, TRV, may also need to be obtained in order to enter Canada. Some countries are required to have a temporary resident visa issued before they can come to Canada. Other countries use the ETA choice that they can travel without a temporary visa. So depending on your country, of origin, you will need a temporary resident visa or you might not. And now we want to explore the Government of Canada website to find out if you are eligible for a work permit in Canada. Let's take a look. And here we are in the website of the Government of Canada in the section of how to find out if you are eligible to work in Canada. When we visit this page, we can see that they have some general eligibility requirements. And if we read the information here, it tells us about that no matter where you apply, you must prove to an officer that you will leave Canada when your work permit expires. You need to show that you have enough money to take care of yourself and your family members during your stay in Canada and to return home. You must also uh, obey the law and have no record of criminal activity and that's going to be through a, poli a police clearance certificate. Also, you need to prove that not, not to be a danger to Canada's security, to be in good health and have a medical exam if needed. You need to not plan to work for an employer listed with the status ineligible. We'll see that information more in the lecture. You need also not plan to work for an employer who, on a regular basis, offers striptease, erotic dance, escort services, or erotic massages, etc. These kind of employers are not permitted to employ temporary workers in Canada. And you have to give the officer any other document they ask for to prove you can enter the country. So we just saw at a glance the general requirements for a work permit. As far as you meet those requirements, the officer will be in a good sense of 
granting you a work permit. We see all more information if we continue to go down the page about the requirements from outside of Canada. And in this case, it mentioned that you need to visit your, the office visa that serves your country. Normally, we provide you with all the documentations, special foreign documents, support documents that you need in your application. Also, the page talks about what to do if you can apply from inside of Canada. And of course, it tells you very clearly here that there's a, there is a special situation where you can do that. Especially, you have to be in Canada and have a valid study or work permit, or your spouse or parent have a study or work permit. Uh, you have graduated from a program at the Canadian University. So, these are the conditions that the officer will see in order for you to be able to apply for a work permit from inside of Canada. Again, we'll want to go into more details during the course about the specific of these requirements. Another choice that you have is you can also apply when you enter Canada at a port of entry, a port, and here it tells you the, the, the information about the visa exchange countries and the different cases in which you can use this choice. It's important to remember about the services that are available for people applying outside of Canada and those countries that have an ATA and they require an ETA also. So, so, so special situations have to be a review before you can do any application of work permit. So another page that we can check in the website of the Government of Canada is the one that can tell you if you need a work permit to work in Canada. And this basically is a self-assessment. And the way you can use it is you go to the page, the link is included in the course, you'll be able to choose the occupation. And based on the occupation that you come into Canada, it will tell this tool will tell you if you need a work permit or not. Okay? For example, if you come into Canada to participate in an event for athlete or coach, and you choose, okay, I'm a, an athlete here. If you choose that and I submit, the tool will tell me that I do not need a work permit. And will tell me the next step to, to continue, okay? So in this case, if I'm coming as an athlete or coach to participate in an event, just asking me, probably going to need a temporary resident visa if I'm a former country that need a, a visa. Or if I'm a country that has an ETA required, then I'm going to need the ETA. But in this case, I do not need a work permit for that event. If I come as a business visitor, for example, I'm going to submit here. You also tell me that I do not need a work permit. Again. You have different occupations based on your occupation and the purpose of your trip coming to Canada. Of course, you need to support that with documents that prove that that's actually what you, uh, the purpose of your trip. Any of these occupations, of course, you will see that they, most of them don't not re, do not require a work permit. But if I say my job is not in the list and I submit again, then the tool will tell me you definitely need a work permit and then you just give me a link on how to find out if I'm eligible to work in Canada and that's the page that we saw previously. So interesting, interesting tool, if you're not sure if you need a work permit or not, well this tool can help you to clear that question, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.